Secret Invasion, Season 1, Episode 4, Beloved Thoughts. So, spoilers for the MCU leading up to and including this episode. Probably going to be speaking fast. Back hurts, too stubborn to not record a review, so here we go. Another episode that I absolutely love. So, yeah, we see that Gaia did actually, you know, it should have killed her, but she has extremis. I know some people, I, I'm not saying Iron Man 3 is perfect, but as far as I understand, the reason why extremis wasn't used much after that was that it still wasn't completely stable. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm misinterpreting, maybe I'm like, I don't like being an apologist, so I'm, I'm trying not to do that, but that was how I got it, and I think the implication is here that these scroll scientists who have maybe been working on it since Iron Man 3, they managed to figure it out, you know, which, I mean, they had access to space science, the best kind of science, which has, you know, that it doesn't have the same limitations as Earth science, so... You know, the, the, we, we already know that the Skrulls are responsible for some incredible technology in the MCU. We get another flashback, and, you know, it's, <clears throat> it's shortly after the events of the first Avengers movie. Nick meets back up with, I don't know if I should be calling her Priscilla or, yeah, because, because, like, they keep... Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, Priscilla, and she basically implies, you know, so you're going to protect humans, but you're not going to protect scrolls. you know, the, the, the kinds of things that, you know, okay, so you understand that the weak must be protected, you understand the nest, then, you know, yeah, I, I don't remember every single word she said, but yeah, you know, and he changes the subject. And, you know, there's the, the poem, and she says, you know, she wanted to feel beloved, and she does. And then we go to the, uh, what on earth does that no mean? Okay, right, right, the... Um, yeah, um, right, we, yes, we see that it is indeed Rhodey working for Gravik, you know, as, and, and this episode also confirms that he is indeed a Skrull. I gotta say, I did not recognize his voice on, on the phone last episode, but, you know, some of the Easter egg aficionados here on YouTube did, and, yeah, very, very cool to see the, you know, so, so yeah, um, not only is Priscilla working for Gravix men, you know, Rhodey is as well, and he's a scroll. And I, I like the thing with, you know, the, the president wouldn't know that the sun had risen if I didn't brief him. I fired Nick Fury, you know, love seeing, you know, a person of color expressing confidence in in their own uh, and then he said you know it was it was beautiful it was like a DDT off the top rope which I'm gonna go ahead and guess is some kind of martial arts wrestling something yeah reference and you know fury is is listening in on the, and and you know she devastatingly says you know he's he'll die soon anyway we don't need to kill him Let's see, and I I did like when, when, I forget exactly what, but Gaia said something that made Talo smile, and in general, like, a good, good scene, you know, she's, yeah, she's come back to Talos, she's, she's saying, you know, nobody forced me to do this, I made my own choices, and this thing of, like, you know, what, what is your plan? For, uh, you know, it's it's not like, you know, she's she doesn't want to work for Gravik anymore, but there still needs to be a plan. You know, she's not naive. And, yeah, um, 
let's see, then we see that Nick and Priscilla, you know, both of them are fully aware that the, this is the part where she's supposed to shoot him, both of them reveal they have a gun, and let's see. Yes, we, we hear about how she picked the the face of the real Priscilla and the three promises. Very, you know, just great dialogue. I really appreciate how much of the show is, like, amazing actors sitting down, talking to each other, delivering really great dialogue. Like, you know, I'm I'm really really glad that they're n they don't feel the need to like have just non-stop action, and yeah, you know the the quote the quoting the poem happens again. So even all these years later, still remembers. And then you know, both of them fire their guns, but both of them intentionally miss the other as like. I don't know if we should get a divorce or renew our vows. That was that was pretty good. And we do hear that he fell in love with Priscilla and later learned that she was actually Vara. And you know, it's that thing about, you know, did would you have fallen for me if I approached you as me? I guess we'll never know. You know, I don't think that was the answer that she was hoping for. She was probably hoping for, a, of course I would have. It's the person, not the fact, you know. But but yeah, like on some level, he probably feels that, you know, he shouldn't fall for a scroll. They are, they're the job. They're not co-workers. And it, yeah, you know, I realize he also said the thing about, I can't fall in love with a co-worker, but even so, you know, it feels like a race thing more than you know not not the fact not that he only falls for black women but that he can't fall for he feels like he shouldn't have fallen for a scroll and yeah good scene between Nick and Rhodey and the the you know, brief detail. It, it could reveal that you know he is now a scroll. The the you know we see the the shower and then you know changes into the the roadie face and you know he's Nick and and he are are you know the conversation peaks and and um what's the opposite of a peak I, f I forget but yeah you know that's it's not completely, and, you know, he shows the video that he has of Gravik as Nick shooting Maria, and, yeah, you know, if he reveals that, that's it. There's, uh, yeah. And then he says, you know, get now get out of here before I defenestrate you, which, that is a thing that, that he could absolutely, he might need the suit for it, but... You know, he he very likely has it close by. So, yeah. And, you know, maybe he would even let Fury fall to the ground outside rather than re-fenestrate him. And, yeah, then we get the, the big action set piece of the, of the episode with the attack on the convoy. And, yeah, attacking the, the president's convoy. And, and I, you know, yeah, they... They were hoping they would be able to actually kill the president. You know, Russians killing the president in this kind of targeted strike. Yeah, that might start World War Three. That's the kind of thing that's going to, yeah. Love seeing Nick, you know, be really effective with the shotgun. And Gravik goes all evil Groot. And... Um, right and and yeah the, the you know Talos is is hit and starts to to turn 
back and you know there's a guy that almost attacks you know and and fury says no no he's he's one of us which does but you know like oh nick fury right you're the guy who already saved us from some aliens and got at least one of the aliens to fight with us right if you say an alien is is one of ours i'm going to you know but then not long after you know the same guy is like trying to to transport Gra uh, to Tr Talos, and Nick sees that and he's like, "It has to be either Gravig or one of his men," you know. And he does apparently kill Talos on this. He also, no, I'm I'm thinking he actually did die on like on like Gaia, which, yeah, I I really respect. It's killing off some really important characters. That just yeah. And love the shot of like you know I, th I think it's like the the part of the cheek, uh, you know uh, uh, Nick shoots Gravik in the face and you know part of the cheek and and it like heals, just very very T one thousand absolutely love to see it, and yeah um, I I continue to really, really really love this this show excited to see, so yeah we're we're two fourths of the way done. Only two episodes left. Yeah, you know, we're, we're going to see if, you know, I mean, even, even if Nick does a lot of damage control, as, as much as he can do without Talos, and having been DDT'd from the top rope by, by Rhodey, you know, this is going to be pretty difficult to... to not to prevent this from blowing up. So, yeah. Um, I think that is everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, re I really appreciate it. They, they're doing a really great job with this thing of, you know, well, if, if squirrels can look like anyone, you know, presumably they can, you know, look like an ally and get really close. So, yeah, that is it. So, yeah, make my marvel.